Hey, what's going on guys? Alex with NBC 11 Alive, Team 1-1, Born to Compete. And you see I got this big old guy next to me from St. Francis, the homie Braden Jacobs. What's up, man? Nothing much, pretty good, doing pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How's practice today? Practice, I mean, we didn't really do much today. We watched film on uh -huh. fellowship, the team we had two weeks from now. You know what I always find funny about practice? And this happens like during the summertime. It could be like pouring down, raining all day long. And then right at the time practice comes, it's like the, it stops, the sun comes out, and it's like the coach just don't forget, you know, he, or he, he doesn't stop blowing his whistle. And you run forever. I don't understand that, never understood that. I think coaches have some kind of like Ouija board or something. They got something going on, man. All right, big news, you guys are 2-0. For the first time since I can remember, you know, I, I don't know, you know, maybe back in the 60s or something when they played, you know, or maybe with the leather helmets, they were probably 2 and though. You know, I'm not joking though, you say France got a heck of a basketball team. But tell me how's it feel? How's everybody feeling, man? 2 and though, everybody feeling good, good spirits around there. I mean, our, our team feels pretty good, but there is like, so there's some things we need to clean up. Like mm -hmm. these 2 0 wins feel good, but our the wins were like amazing. Mm -hmm. We still need to clean up a lot, but we think we could go all the way this year. I like that. All right, man. Let's, can, can I get into what I really came to talk about, man? The line. Oh, my God. Y'all are big. Y'all are nasty. Y'all get it done out there. And, and usually, right, they'll talk about the quarterback. They'll talk about the running back. Talk about oh, whatever skill player. But with St. Francis, they talk about that offensive line. Let's talk about how good you guys really are. We're, we're a very good line. Yeah. People, I mean, people don't really see that. Uh -huh. These past two games, we haven't been like amazing. We've mm -hmm. been good, but we haven't been at our best. But once we get at our best, nobody can nobody can get in our way. So I'm curious, you know, what do you want to do? You want to pass block? You want to run block? You know, because here's the thing, man. I watched you on film a little bit, you know, and I see when you're pulling or whatever it might be when you get your hands on somebody. It gets a little rough out there, man. You know, I don't know this calm demeanor with the mean intentions. What's going on? You tell me what you like to do. I mean, I like passing more, but uh -huh. our team our team is very good at run blocking, so I would rather run blocking the game. So you get your dancing bear on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, look, known you for a long time, playing the offensive line. Uh, geez, we can go way back to nine and under, ten and under. You know, when you were kind of just coming into your own. Uh, when did you know, like, you know what? I'm in full control out here. Was it your freshman year? You know, was it this year? I don't know. You know, but I saw once the switch went on when your dad sent me some film and he was like, yeah, he's coming along, all that. And then I looked at some film, other film as well, and you were mauling people. When did that light come on like, yeah, I'm that guy? Last year. Last year. Tell, tell me, like, what was the process? What made you say, okay, here's where I, I'm in total control? I mean, it was really my dad helped me realize that, that yeah. I'm the, one of the biggest people out there and uh -huh. all, more strength than all these kids, and I can move them around wherever I wanted to. You know your dad's going to cry. He's going to cry that you said that fact. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's feeling all good right now. All right, man, 2-0. Um, Got a good team coming up. Yes, Got fellowship. Well coached. Do a great job. Everybody knows the coach over there. Everybody knows that team. Um, but you guys got a lot of talent. You guys are well coached as well. How are you guys feeling going into this game? Very good. These past two games we've had a lot of penalties. Mm -hmm. If we clean the penalties up, they could be fellowship probably with ease. <laughs> um, offers have come your way. Yeah. You deserve it. You deserve every single one of them. Uh, just tell me how does it feel, man, now these offers start to come your way, people are starting to recognize you uh, for your ability. How does it feel when a college says, hey, we'd love for you to, if that time comes, to play at our school? It feels, it feels really good. Yeah. There's like one, there's always one thing I remember that even though I had the offer, it still means I have to perform at my highest level. They still want to film on me and want to watch me play and grow. All right, end of the season, what are we going to be saying about St. Francis? Underdogs. That overcame? Yes. I'm with it then. Give a shout out, man. Parents, family. That's usually where everybody goes with it. Uh, <laughs> my mom, dad, my brother, my coach Mike from 10U. I don't know who that is. And then that's, that's it. Coach Mike is going crazy right now. You know that, right? I saw him with like this back brace thing on. <laughs> This past weekend, it was kind of weird. I'm not sure what he had going on. Either way, guys, that's my guy, Brandon Jacobs at St. Francis. Look, he is absolutely an amazing player and even a better person. Just keep it real with you. I've known him for a long time. 
Guys, make sure you catch us. NBC 11 Live, Team 1-1 with Maria, Reg, Megan back there waving. Of course, my guy Rick smiling on Friday nights to catch all the high school action. And of course, us, the number one segment in the country. Alex, we're born to compete. Take care.